So I wanted to get on here to uh, finish up the prayer from f yesterday. And I wanted to s focus specifically on infirmity. Infirmity, sickness, disease, uh, chronic pain in your body, uh, whatever physical afflictions that you've been dealing with. I just want to pray against that today. So Lord God Almighty, I just pray right now, I lift up all these people to you that are watching and who will watch later on, Lord, and I say, do a mighty work. Do a mighty work. I pray right now for anybody that is um, battling with any kind of um, pain from a former injury, Lord. I pray that you would reverse that injury. I pray that you would reverse the outcome of that injury, Lord. I pray that all crooked places would be made straight. Crooked spines would be made straight, Lord. Crooked backs would be made straight in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray that uh, people who have been uh, dealing with any kind of hip pain, uh, knee pain, uh, shoulder pain. They might even be anticipating a surgery. Lord, may they not need the surgery in Jesus name because you are the, the, the grand physician. You are the best doctor there is. Hallelujah. You are a healer, Lord Jesus. And so I just pray that your hand would rest mightily on upon them right now and that all chronic pain would have to flee in your most precious and holy name. All chronic pain would have to flee in your most precious and holy name. I pray right now for anybody that is um, having trouble walking. Maybe you have a cane. Maybe you have a walker. Maybe you're on crutches. Whatever it is, I just pray that you would be able to walk. That you would be restored to full strength. That you would have... Um, the, the same, the, the, that your balance would be restored, that you would be better coming out of this than when you went in. Hallelujah. Because we serve a mighty God. Um, I pray right now for anybody who's dealing with any kind of a heart condition. I just pray for full restoration, whatever that, that heart ailment may be, that affliction. I pray for full restoration and renewal right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for anybody who's dealing with any kind of a breathing problem. I pray for anybody who's dealing with any kind of a breathing problem right now, any any respiratory issues, um, any COPD, any emphysema, whatever it is, I decree and declare right now, and that you will breathe easily from this day forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will be able to breathe easily and freely. And if you have been on oxygen or any kind of a medication, I'm just going to thank the Lord right now that you will no longer need that medication in Jesus name. You will no longer need that medication. You will not no longer need those treatments. If you have asthma and you've been on any kind of like a breathalyzer or an inhaler, you will no longer need that as well in Jesus name. And we're just going to believe for it because there is nothing impossible for the God we serve. Hallelujah. Who can deliver like he can? I know not one. He is the same God yesterday, today and forever. So I just want to lift up anybody else right now at the sound of my voice that's been dealing with any kind of liver, liver problems, cirrhosis of the liver. Maybe, you know, you, you uh, had a problem with alcoholism or drinking at one point in time. I just want to pray right now uh, that the Lord would have mercy and that he would reverse uh, the, the disease to your liver right now in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because the Bible tells us that by his stripes, by his wounds, meaning every lash that he received on his back, we are healed. Not we might be or we could be, but we are. So I pray that you would receive that healing today in Jesus name. If that's something that you've been struggling with, I pray for anybody that has kidney stones or gallstones right now. 
kidney stones or, or gall stones, which I've heard are incredibly painful. I just pray right now that they would shrivel up and die in the name of Jesus Christ, that they, that any tumorous, uh, um, any cancerous growths or any tumors, I pray that they would just shrivel up and die right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name above any other name. Hallelujah. I pray right now for anybody that uh, struggles with uh, chronic headaches, migraines, which can be debilitating. I know because I, I used to have them and, and so did my mother. So I just pray for anybody right now, if that's been your struggle as far as headaches are concerned, I decree and declare right now that will not be your portion anymore. That headaches will have to bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That you will no longer need to be taking over-the-counter medication or having to go to the hospital for a shot to get rid of the pain. I pray that, that if those headaches are associated with any type of injury, any type of injury to your back or to your neck, um, from the womb to now, that those injuries would be reversed completely in Jesus' name. Reversed, renewed, restored completely full restoration we declare right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for anybody right now that's dealing with any kind of hip problems or or knee problems maybe um, your balance has been an issue maybe you're not walking as as sturdy or as steady or as strong as you once did we're just going to believe for a miracle right now. And I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the living word, in the name of the word made flesh that dwelt among us. Hallelujah. That whatever, whatever ailment you're dealing with, whatever affliction you're dealing with that has been a hindrance to you, that, that it, it would cease. It would be no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God that it would cease and be no more in the name of Jesus Christ. If you had balance issues, you're going to be sturdy from this moment on in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you were weak um, and you weren't, um, you weren't able to really uh, move around like you used to, I decree and declare right now that you will be receiving supernatural strength from the throne room in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. And I just pray that you have the faith to receive that. Glory be to God. I pray for anybody right now uh, that has problems with their sight. Problems with their sight. We see throughout the Bible uh, many, many times where blind eyes, blind eyes were just received one touch from God and they were healed and those people could see and they could see clearly hallelujah so I'm just going to believe for it again hallelujah and I pray that you would do the same that if you're having any kind of sight problems whether it be macular degeneration whether it be uh, partial blindness whatever it is I pray right now that your eyesight would be restored in Jesus name I pray right now that your eyesight would be restored in Jesus name. And if one eye was actually seeing better than the other, I pray that both of them would be completely balanced and see the same. I pray that you would see clearly with 2020 vision in Jesus name, in Jesus name, and that you would no longer need glasses or contacts. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I pray for right now for anybody that is um, struggling with carpal tunnel tendinitis, arthritis, anything like that. I pray that all stiffening of the joints would have to cease and desist in Jesus' name. Cease and desist in Jesus' name. I pray that your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, if there's been any kind of tears or injuries to that, that that injury would be reversed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that that injury would be reversed right now and any pain associated with it would have to flee in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And how many of us know there's power in that name? There's power in that name. And he's a mighty healer. He is mighty to save. No one can deliver like God can. So I just pray that you have the faith to receive it again. Anybody that's having hearing problems, we see multiple times throughout the Bible as well that the deaf could hear. 
And so I just pray right now that if you're having any kind of a hearing problem, that your hearing would be restored fully and completely in Jesus' name. I don't even care how old you are. That, 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 that doesn't matter. We serve a supernatural God and we're going to believe him for supernatural things. We serve a great big God and we, we, we don't need to keep our requests small. We don't need to re- keep our requests small. We can petition him for great and mighty things because he is a great and mighty God. So I just pray right now that if he, uh, hearing has been your issue, that your hearing would be fully restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray right now that um, if you if you have suffered some sort of a brain injury, some sort of a brain injury um, that happened as a as a result of, um, of of an accident, something very traumatic. First of all, I pray that you would be delivered completely from that trauma in Jesus' name, completely from that trauma. The trauma would have to go today and now in the name of Jesus Christ. All trauma associated uh, with what that brought that upon you. I pray that if your memory has been affected, that your memory would be restored in Jesus name. I pray that your memory would be completely restored. I pray that you would have um, clarity, focus, concentration like never before in Jesus' name. Clarity, memory, focus, concentration, like never before in Jesus' name. I pray that if your short-term memory or your long-term memory was affected, that your memories would be restored to you today in Jesus' name. How many of us know that we serve a God of restoration? He specializes in restoration. So let's believe for that today, that it's going to be fully restored in Jesus' name. All of your memories. I pray right now that your mind would be completely healed, completely healed. Any injuries to your brain would be completely reversed in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I pray that you would receive that today. If that's something that you've been struggling with. Hallelujah. And I just pray Lord, that you would continue to move mightily in, in this prayer. Anybody that was um, born with any kind of disease or affliction, I'm just asking you to come into agreement with me and believe for a miracle on your behalf today. Um, I want to make it clear that a lot of sickness comes into our ancestral line because of sins that our ancestors committed. A lot of curses were placed upon our life as a result of sins that we had nothing to do with. Sins that were committed by our ancestors and is passed down throughout our our generational line. So some of that sickness may be a curse upon your life. I pray that if it's some sort of a generational curse that's causing infirmity, pestilence, or disease, that that curse be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Broken, completely broken down by the word of God, by the hammer of the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The living word be broken now in the name of Jesus. Every ancestral curse that caused sickness, pestilence, or disease to come upon you. I pray right now because the Bible makes this clear um, and it's something that really stood out to me today um, before going into this prayer. That if we take of communion, meaning if we eat the bread that is his body at that, at that church service, at communion, and we drink the wine, um, which could have been grape juice as well. But when we drink it, it's supposed to be symbolic of the blood that was poured out on our behalf but if we drink if we eat and drink that unworthily the bible says that sickness will come upon you meaning if you don't understand if you don't understand what you are partaking in if you don't take it seriously or if you have not been baptized if you have been not been baptized and born again and you and you um 
participate in communion, sickness can come upon you. You have to be baptized by the Holy Ghost and born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I just pray right now for anybody that has taken communion in an unworthy manner that you would just renounce that. Say, I renounce taking communion in an unworthy manner. I come out of agreement with that right now. Lord, forgive me. And we're just going to petition who the Lord of heaven's armies right now to have mercy and to release you today from any sickness, any infirmity, any disease that has come upon your body as a result of partaking in that communion in an unworthy manner. It has to go now in Jesus' name. It has to flee. It has to get out. It has to go to the abyss and never return in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, all infirmity go. Leave them now. Leave them and never return. Their bodies will be fully restored. All damage that you did, restore it. All damage that you caused while you were in their body, restore it now in Jesus' name. On your way out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know <laughs> that we serve a great and mighty God? And then nothing is impossible for him. What is impossible for you is not impossible for him. And throughout the Bible, Jesus was always asking people, do you believe I can do this for you? Do you have the faith to be healed? As a matter of fact, we have an example of where they didn't have the faith to be healed. When he went to Nazareth and only a handful of people could be healed as a result. Don't let that be you today. I pray that you would step out in faith and receive, receive your healing, receive restoration, receive deliverance today. Hallelujah. I pray for anybody that's been dealing with any kind of a, a foot or an ankle um, injury or problem. That that would just be fully restored, fully restored. Any injuries undone in Jesus' name, as if they never existed, as if they never existed. You will be able to walk on your feet without pain in Jesus' name. You will be able to walk on your feet without pain in Jesus' name. If you, if you lost strength in your ankle due to an injury or your foot, I pray that that strength would be fully restored. That you would receive full strength back from the throne room of heaven itself in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray for anybody who has been weak in the body. Maybe you've been bedridden. Maybe you just haven't had the energy or of the strength to get up and move like you once did. I'm also decreeing and de declaring supernatural strength to be imparted to you from the throne room of heaven right now. Right now, right now, receive that strength. Receive that strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, I pray that as soon as you receive your healing, as soon as you receive your deliverance and your freedom, that you always remember to, to thank the one who gave it to you. And that's Jesus Christ. That's, the, that's the, the Lord of lords and the King of kings. To him be all the glory. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. I pray right now for... Um, Mental afflictions as well. Mental afflictions as well, whether it be depression, PTSD, anxiety, schizophrenia. If you've been hearing voices, narcissism, sociopathy, psychopathy, I don't care what it is. I know we've got all these labels um, in, you know, psychiatry world. However, a lot of the things that we deal with today, the majority of them, a, a whole lot of them are spiritual attacks. Okay, spiritual attacks, things that came upon us um, as a result of the choices that we've made in our life and the choices that our ancestors made preceding us. Um, so I just pray right now that if you've been battling with depression, 
that 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 heavy cloud of hopelessness would have to leave you right now. We bind up hopelessness and we lose hope in the name of Jesus. How many people know right now that Jesus is our blessed hope? He is our hope beyond the grave. So we lose hope right now in the name of Jesus. And we tell depression that you have to go, you have to bow, you have to submit to the authority of Jesus Christ and leave this vessel in Jesus' name. Leave now. Same with anxiety. Anxiety, insomnia, fear, restlessness, intrusive thoughts, everything that is fear-based right now. We bind that spirit of fear. We bind that spirit of anxiety. We bind that spirit of restlessness and insomnia and intrusive thoughts. And we command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of them. Come out of them now. Come out of them now. Go to the abyss and never return. Leave. Leave. Lose them and let them go for good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we just thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. And we consider it done in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. I pray for anybody who's been hearing um, any kind of voices. Just so you know, that's a demon talking to you. Whenever you're hearing voices, that's not normal. The Lord said he didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Hearing voices is not indicative of a sound mind so he didn't give you that that comes from the enemy that comes from satan himself i decree and declare that anybody that's hearing demonic voices voices that are condemning voices that are slanderous voices that are critical voices that uh cause you to feel uh, uh discouraged and and defeated and hopeless I just pray right now that though the volume of those voices would be turned all the way down in Jesus' name, that you would receive total and complete deliverance from, from the, those things that are speaking nothing but lies into your ear. And that you would, you would hear the word of the Lord because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I pray that the next time that you get in your Bible, do you hear me? The next time that you get in your Bible... I pray right now that the Lord would speak to you. If you haven't heard him, I pray that he would speak to you for the first time in a still small audible voice or that he would speak to you through his word and that you would be able to discern it and understand exactly what it means and know that you heard from your father in heaven. Hallelujah. So I just pray for anybody that's battling with any kind of mental torment right now, whatever it is. That that mental torment would have to submit to the authority of Jesus Christ right now and flee, flee, flee in the name of Jesus. Flee and be no more. Get out. Go find another place to live. This place is taken up by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 You are a vessel of God. You are a vessel of God. You are a daughter or a son of the Most High God. And these things, these things, we, we, we don't want him. We don't want them here. We don't need them here. We don't receive them. We don't come into agreement with them. We cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. And they, they have to flee. You resist the devil and he will flee. Hallelujah. So I just pray that, um, that you have the faith to receive this prayer today. I hope and pray um, that you would walk in the freedom that you've been given today um, and that you would glorify your Father in heaven, that you would run out and tell everybody about the mighty miracles and the things that he has done for you while you were still a sinner. Or even if you are his child, Hallelujah, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Right, and deliverance is the, the children's bread. Deliverance is the children's bread. Uh, but you can be his child today. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, you just need to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and there is no other and that God raised him from the dead. God, meaning God the Father, raised him from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, and just make him not just savior of your, your life, but Lord of your life and trust in him to take your nothing and make it something. Trust in him 
to guide you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Trust in him to order your steps and to keep your feet from traps and snares. Trust in him to finish the good work that he started in you and just maintain a relationship with him. We don't want to just say a prayer and then never speak to God again. He has opened up the door for you to be able to communicate with him and get in his, into his presence. We can come boldly to the throne of grace 365 days a year, 24 hours a day because of the death, burial, and resurrection in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so I would encourage you that if you haven't come boldly to the throne of grace, that you would do that today. Because they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. They who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is Lord. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent of your sin. And he will do the work. He will do the rest because Jesus Christ said on the cross before he breathed his last, it is finished and he meant every word. The work is already complete. Death has been defeated and sin has no power over you. The minute, the minute that you extend that faith that you've been given as a gift from God, we are saved by grace through faith. It's no works of our own. However, we will be equipped by the Holy Spirit to do good works for God. For God. Amen. So I, I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful weather out there. I don't know where you are. I'm hoping it's, it's beautiful where you are. It's nice and sunny and warm where I am. Um, I, I hope and pray that... Um, you just go on to to enjoy the day um and and see god god's goodness god's grace god's mercy god's favor god's kindness god's faithfulness just uh follow you around and be super evident today in jesus name <laughs>